Thanks, Rebel. So it's you, Jerry. I thought if we ever met again, we'd shoot her down. But I didn't think you'd try to bushwhack me. You're shot with luck. Had dead beat on you. Any other man would be down there, dead. Old rebel spotted you and threw me out of the line of fire. But why did you do it, Jerry? I broke jail. I heard you was coming over this way. Thought you was after me. I was a fool to fight you. I should have run away. I wiped the slate clean when you went to jail, Jerry. It wasn't my job to keep you there. But what brought you way over here off your usual track? I double-crossed you. But I won't make that mistake again. I always hated you anyhow. You always could outride, outrun. Out shoot me. You cashing in, Jerry. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah. Pull off my boots. Want to fool folks that said I'd die with them on. I wonder who this Kurt is. Jerry was pretty bad, and anyone that'd recommend him would sure bear watching. No use hiding. You might as well come on out. We had nothing to do with him. Shucks, miss. I know that. I'm sorry you have to be dragged in at all. Then why drag us in? I happen to be a stranger around here. And a witness or two might come in handy, in case his friends start investigating. But who was he, and why did you want to kill each other? He used to be my friend a few years back. We were kids together. Then he stole my cattle and went to jail. I didn't know he'd escaped, but he thought I was after him. You're sure lightning with your guns, mister. But I still don't see how he missed you at that distance. He didn't exactly miss. My horse threw me out of the line of fire. Seems to me a fellow that lands shooting the way you did is a pretty bad man to startle. I reckon you think I'm on the dodge. The same as you. What do you mean, the same as me? Tommy, stop. You can't do that. He'll kill you. Who are you, anyway? And what right do you have to accuse him? Folks call me the whistler, miss, and I'm not accusing him. But I know a fella doesn't go to meet a pretty girl without shaving, if things were so he could. So you're the whistler. 
It's all right, Sue. This man's on the square. I'm on the dodge, all right. My name's Tommy Lord. And this is Miss... Miss Sue Callahan. Daughter of Wade Callahan. Of the diamond and a half spread. You know me? I know Brand. I just saw two diamond and a half horses hid back there. So I just figured you're the Callahan girl I've heard so much about. You don't miss much, do you, fella? What else do you know? Mighty little. I expect to learn a lot from you, though. But first, miss, I'll ask you to ride to town for me. Ride to town? Yes. I want you to find the sheriff and bring him here. You mean you're going to turn me in? No. At least not just yet. But the sheriff's got to know about him. Come, miss. I'll take you to your horse. By the way, Miss Sue, is there a fellow around here called Deke? 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 No, I don't believe there's anyone around here by that name. Well, I'll probably see you over at your father's ranch. Promise me you'll see that nothing happens to Tommy, won't you, Mr. Whistler? That's a pretty big order, Miss <laughs> Sue, but I'll do my best. Goodbye, Sue. She's a wonderful girl, Tommy. Somehow I just can't believe she'd care for you if you're really bad. Why don't you tell me about your trouble? Well, there's uh, rustling going on around here. On a large scale. Everybody's lost a lot of cattle, and some of the little fellows have pretty near been wiped out. So the feeling's pretty strong. Naturally. I work for Bill Holden on the Lazy H. A few days ago, Callahan's ranch was raided and a couple of his punchers killed. Callahan's range boss, Jack Brady, claimed he recognized my horse among the raiders. I see. So you figured you'd better hide out until the real wrestlers was located. Sure, that's exactly it. Yonder comes the law, Tommy. And a right numerous law, too. Say, if I was a gent with any regard for my personal liberty, I'd be getting up off the ground and hot-footed right away from here. Well, I guess there's no hurry. 
I could hide within a mile of here where it'd take a bloodhound to smell me out. But say, uh, maybe there's two of us that should be going places. If I remember correctly, that fellow you perforated back there is a friend of old C.C. C.C.? Yeah, C.C. Turner, the sheriff. He's probably leading that Viston delegation. C.C. Turner. Well, I'll bet his nickname's Kurt, right? Sure it's Kurt, but don't kid me, fella. Being a range detective, you probably know more about him than I do. You fellas take this trail and come in from behind. We'll go this way. All right, Sheriff. That's funny. I'd have sworn I'd seen 11 of them, but only see four coming. Hey, they're getting pretty close. The rest of them probably cut around behind us. They'll come up about where your friend Jerry was hid. Looks like they intend to surround you. You better come along. I wouldn't trust that fella Turner if I were you. Thanks, Tommy. I don't think old Turner will make any bad medicine at me. It ain't considered safe to monkey with a federal officer. You'd better run along. What's happened here? I reckon you know or you wouldn't be here. Which one of you is Turner? I'm Turner. The Callahan girl brought word that a fella named the Whistler murdered Jerry Blake. There's a few things wrong with those remarks. In the first place, Miss Callahan never said it was murder. And in the second place, my name never is... Never mind that. You killed a man. The sheriff called it murder, and I call it murder. And we hang murders in this county. Now, what do you think of that? No use getting hard about it. You're a posse, not a lynching mob. And the sheriff here is an officer of the law. The sheriff will do what I say. I'm running this. I sort of figured that way. All right, what's next? Unbuckle your gun belt, Mr. U.S. Marshal. So you know me. Yeah, we know you all right. But no one can ever prove we knew you to be anything but a murder resistant arrest. You'll never take my guns except in smoke. Don't move! The six rifles out there drawing a beat on you right now. Only six. Well, I thought there must be a dozen of them, judging by the noise they made blundering through the brush. Well, I reckon you've got me. Drop that gun! Tell your friends behind me not to move, or you four will drop. 
Don't worry, Whistler. If one of them should move, his light would go out quick. Drop those guns, you hombres. Get off them horses and get out in the open. That'll be far enough. March on down there. Pronto! Stop right there. Get a rope, Tommy. You there, hard guy. Step out in front. Tie the rope around his neck. Be sure and don't choke him. Tie his hands too, Tommy. He's the big boss. We'll let him lead the parade. Sheriff, you seem to be second in command. You're next. Tie a loop around his neck too, Tommy. You're next, handsome. Okay, General. March your troops back to town. You can't get away with this feller. Get going or I'll make you double time it. Uh, don't yank. Shut up! Hey, mister, I can't walk the to town. I got fallen arches. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have turned a bunch of rattlesnakes loose in your backyard, Whistler. There isn't a one of those citizens that'll get a good night's sleep till we're both rubbed out. We've got to take that chance. And thanks, Tommy, for saving me. I couldn't have held them off all alone. Ah, shucks. You had them in hand before I butted in. You'll do to take along, even if you are a cow thieving son of sin. <laughs> Things are sure happening fast around here. Guess I'll have to call it a day, Whistler. I might have known they'd leave a man with the horses. 
I thought there were 11 of them when I first spotted them. Am I hit? Am I hit hard? Pretty bad. But you'll pull through. You'll need some good nursing, though. It's funny. Didn't hurt much at first, but sure hurts now. <sighs> Reckon we got to get him in good hands, Rebel. I never knew they could hurt a man so much by just tying his hands behind his back. Oh, shut up and keep in step. You lag behind again, I'll yank this rope and choke you. You, you do, and I'll ring right over and bite your ear off. Hey, don't go so fast. I got fallen arches. Carrying that nose around what broke those arches. Oh, shut up. It'll be dark pretty soon. We gotta get in. It's tough, boy. But you'll have to stand it for a little while. Tell you, life ain't gonna be worth living to have to go dragging in a town like this. I'd rather be shot. You'd oughta thought of that when you had to drop on that whistler gent. You wasn't paralyzed, was you? No, but I sure am now. Hey, listen, I hear someone coming. Uh, it's probably one of our own horses following us. Hey, there's somebody riding that horse. Duck off the trail here in the bushes. It Jeff. may be a friend. Yeah, there may be some talkative fool who'll spread the story all over town. Duck, I tell you. Ouch, my fallen arches. Why, it's Brady. Hey, Brady. 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 Hey, Brady! Who's that? It's all right, Jack. It's me, Jess Monroe, and the boys. <laughs> well, doggone me. <laughs> All tied up like a bunch of calves. You must have met up with a troop of cavalry or something. <laughs> hey, cut us loose, Jack. I got fallen arches. <laughs> <laughs> this is one to tell the boys. Only the dickens of it is, they'll never believe it's true. Well, it's one you'll never tell unless you want your throat slit. Get busy on these ropes. <laughs> you mean that just the two of them did this to ten full-grown men? <laughs> oh, can the comedian get out of business? Now this whistler, hombre, can put us all in the penitentiary. We've got to down him and quick. He's sure chain lightning with a gun. Oh, uh, he may be fast, but there's one man that can take him, and that's Slade. We've got to frame him into a fight with Slade. You got to find the whistler first. That'll be easy. If he's teaming up with Tommy Lord, all we have to do is trail Sue Callahan. She's been taking mysterious rides here lately, and I think she rides out to meet Tommy.
I reckon we'd better look around a bit before we announce ourselves. ain't we? We ought to have been there a long time ago. We're okay, Tommy. I just wanted it to be dark before we rode in. Oh, boy. You stick with him, Rebel, till I get back. Who is it, Sue? What's wrong? There's been some trouble, miss. Nothing very bad. Dad, this is the man I met up in the hills this afternoon. His name My is... name is Reb Russell, sir. I'm working for the Cattlemen's Association. Folks call me the Whistler. The lady thought that was my real name. Well, I've heard about you, of course. I'm right glad to know you. My daughter tells me she met you up on Squaw Peak this afternoon. Although I can't see what she was doing away up there. I'll tell you, Dad. I went to meet Tommy. He was with me when I met this man. Well, if you've captured Tommy Lord, you made quick work of it. I didn't take him in, sir. I don't believe Tommy ever rustled any cattle. We have my foreman's word for it, and I reckon that's evidence enough. Not for me. Tommy saved my life today, and I'm going to see that he's not framed by a bunch of rustlers. You mean to insinuate that my foreman Brady is a rustler? I ain't insinuating anything, but I'm asking you to take him in and hide him while I investigate. He's hurt pretty bad and needs attention. If we keep him dead and Mr. Whistler finds he's guilty, we'll have him safe. That sounds logical. All right, we'll keep him. And I hope you find he's innocent because I always liked the boy. I'll bring him in and remember, I don't want anyone, not even your foreman Brady, to know he's here. Yeah, Russell, the day of the Longhorn Range cattle is done. You've got to breed fine stock like those nowadays, if the rustlers will only let you alone. We'll see what can be done around here to stop this rustling. Yeah. This one fine horse, plenty legs, plenty sense, much speed, huh? Yes, he's plenty fast in the stare. Saddle him up for me, will you? I want to ride him around a bit. Hmm. The Indian's a pretty good wrangler, eh? Little Feather's the best hand with a horse I ever saw. I use him whenever DeKalb will let him stray off the reservation. DeKalb? Yes, he's the agent up on the reservation. He don't let them stray off very much. He gets a rake off for feeding them. Folks call him Deke for short? Yes. Do you know him? No. But I think I'm gonna get acquainted. Oh. Here you, unsaddle my horse and give him a rub down. Pretty soon. I told you to unsaddle my horse. Pretty soon. I ought to kick the life out of you. I'll teach you not to talk back to me. 
Hmm. Here, what's the idea? Pour in, will you? Keep out of it, Sue. I think a certain fellow's going to get a lesson he's been needing for some time. Good morning, Miss Sue. Good morning. I'm sorry this had to happen. I reckon I'll be riding over at the Indian Reservation, Mr. Callahan. All right, Russell. Thanks for saddling my horse for me, little feather. Mm. My foot slipped. Yes, maybe your foot. Maybe your cinch slipped. Or maybe you just tackled one bronc you couldn't ride. <laughs> Sue, I've got something to tell you. It's no use, Jack. I like you, but that's all. It's not that, Sue. I was hurrying home to tell you something and make Claire Tommy Lord. When that Jasper the Whistler jumped me from behind. What is it you know? I can't tell you here. I'll have to show you. Get on a horse and we'll ride out quietly. Little Feather, saddle up my pain horse. You're not right away till whistling man come, maybe. I'm going now. Get my horse. You're the cow, I reckon. Well, the advantage is yours. I never saw you before. That's why I brought along a letter of introduction and recommendation. Hmm. Short and sweet, like the old lady's dance. But covers the subject. Well, what can I do for you? I've got some beef to sell. Yeah? What brand? 
Well, uh, the fact is, them steers ain't quite decided what brand they will wear. You think they like the pig pen brand? That seems to work real well around here. Reckon I could manage that, if the price is right. The price? The price is settled. You're working with Kurt and Jess Monroe, ain't you? Well, you see, uh, Kurt and me sort of figured we'd handle this deal direct. Oh, I see. Kurt's a figured on freezing Jess out, eh? And you are handling the cattle for it. Well, it suits me. <laughs> if you can produce. Jess is getting a little bit too big-headed lately, anyhow. So we figured. Now about the price. How about 20 bucks a head? Contract to read 25. Too high. I'm gonna give a 19, huh? Well, I don't want to bust up with Jess with, without a better deal. Give me 18. Yeah. You sit here and do nothing. And get seven dollars for every head you feed them hungry Indians. And we do all the dirty work. Well, take it or leave it. Now the cows don't cost you a cent. Well, I'm taking a chance that some smart federal marshal drop it in most any time and then, huh, blew it. I reckon you're right at that, Dave. Uh, Fact is, you're one smart hombre. The only trouble with you is, you talk too much. Deputy United States Marshal. Yeah, I'm the guy you've been worrying about. Get your hat. We're going for a little ride. Hello, DeKalb. Hi, Callahan. DeKalb has come over to write a little statement about some cattle transactions around here that'll be mighty interesting to a lot of people, Mr. Callahan. Well, I don't know all the details, but I can't say I'm much surprised. Come on in. You see Whistling Man? No see. We got letter for Whistling Man. I take to him. No, must give Whistling Man. Give me letter. No, must give Whistling Man. Sign it. I reckon that'll please Miss Sue. Yeah, 
That clears Tommy Lord, all right. Give me that letter, I know it can do. Now what's that Indian up to? Give me the letter, no it can do. Give me the letter. Give me the letter, I say. No, no. What's the matter here? Got letter for whistling man. This boy try steal him. Him bad engine, afraid he try to shoot whistling man. Where they got her? Come clean in the house. John not know him. Man give money, say, take letter to Callahan Ranch. Give whistling man. What is it, Russell? What's wrong? Nothing to worry about. Tie up the cow so he can't get away and then gather up all the cowboys you can. It's 12 o'clock now. If I'm not back by four, open this and use your own judgment. Let her tell whistling man. No can tell. You tell all right. I tell, I tell. Just Monroe. Send letter. Tell whistling man come to Texas barroom. Gunman kill him. What do you know about Callahan girl? She hide in old house. And tumble tea wrench. I'm looking for a fellow by the name of Slade. I'm Slade. I got your message. What message? What are you talking about? And who are you, anyway? You don't know anything about the message that Indian brought me, do you, Slade? I don't send Indians to carry messages, mister. You came busting in here looking for me. Well, here I am. All right, let's get it over with. You're here to kill me. 
I've been sent for and I'm here. Now go on and make your play. I ain't here to kill you, fella. But when a man comes looking for me, I figure he's hunting trouble. If that's what you want. All right, Slade. We'll call it a mistake. Watch your nerve after all, eh? I don't know you men. If any of you are in this with Slade, make your play. It was nice shooting, little feather. But how did you happen along just when I needed you most? Engine Joe say Jess Monroe sent for whistling man. So gunman kill him, so I come. Well, you arrived at a mighty good time. I reckon you earned your war bonnet today. Indian Joe say Callahan girl hid in Tumbling Tea Ranch house. What? Sue hid at the Tumbling Tea? Mm. Do you know how to get there quick? I know. Let's go. I didn't wait till four o'clock to read the letter. Never mind explanations now. We're going to Tumlin Tea to get soon. Rush it from behind. Don't shoot. You can't blame us. It was Jess's idea. Shoot! Shooting's too good for you. You'll probably hang. Turn around. Get on outside. See if these men don't get away. Right. Shoo, shoo, are you hurt? No, Daddy, oh. I'm all right. And they didn't make me tell what Tommy is, either. What did they want Tommy for? Well, I think they meant to kill him and lay all the wrestling and trouble on him. Well, Tommy's cleared now, Miss Sue. Oh. Wasn't Jess Monroe there for him to this outfit? Why, yes. Looks like the tumbling tea owners will need a new man. 
I think I have enough influence with the Cattlemen's Association to see that they give Tommy the job. Oh, how can we ever thank you? You don't have to thank me. It's my job to stop range warfare. Well, Mr. Callahan, if you loan me a couple of your boys, I'll turn the prisoners over to the district attorney. Why, certainly. Jack, you and Bill ride to town with Russell. All right. Get them on their horses. Get going. Get on the horse. Get up on them and let's keep going. Let's have your hand. You can't get away with this, Russell, fool. Come on, let's have it. Oh. Bill, you lead them. Right. Iron down, Bill. Come on, let's get going. Bill. Hey, I. All right, let's go. So long, folks. Goodbye. That fellow is a real man, Sue. Yes, Dad. He surely is. <laughs>